The ocean down there uh, in South Africa, and especially around Dundas, is, is alive. Um, there's a giant seal colony directly to the inside, and as you're in the lineup, you can you know, smell the seal crap and hear them barking, and deep water surrounding it all around. Um, you know, a couple miles uh, up the coast, they're doing uh, shark cage diving tours. Uh, so yeah, there's definitely a, an eerie vibe to the wave, and it's spooky. Um, that wave I rode is the third heat of the morning of the Red Bull uh, Big Wave Africa, and paddled straight out there. You know, had my bearings, my lineup where I wanted to sit, and right off the bat, uh, we all got cleaned up by you know big 25 foot set. Just steamrolled, you know, didn't stand a chance, and broke my board straight away. I was thinking, great, you know, perfect way to start the heat. Paddled back out, right back to my other lineup, and sure enough, you know, another set, you know, just as big as the one before, uh, you know, caught us all inside again and barely skirted underneath it. And I was so far out, it actually put me in perfect position for that wave. Um, just you know, put my head down, paddled my heart out, and you know, just thinking, you know, I gotta catch a wave, you know, this is it. And uh, the whole wall just extended all the way to the channel. And I remember taking off thinking, gosh, you're gonna get you know, bulldozed on this one, but you, know, you might as well at least try. And uh, took my high line up into it, screwed it up on my board a little bit, and almost as if everything went in slow motion at that point. I'd you know, never been in a barrel you know, quite that wide, you know, especially paddling in on a 9.8. It's a real different feeling being inside of a barrel and trying to control the board. And um, it you know, had two sections throw over me. At one point, you know, I didn't think I was going to make it, but the foam ball came up underneath me and lifted me and actually gave me a little extra projection forward. And I uh, just remember you know, thinking, got to take the high line out of that thing. You know, I was able to just staying as low as I could, felt my you know, feet digging into my board, just trying to hold an edge, and uh, just barely skirted up out of the top corner of it with a little bit of spit, and it came out through the one you know, big fist claim, and uh, yeah, that was it. Probably one of the you know, best rides of my life.